Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. All right. This, um, this is going to be on the mission of the church. Someone sent this to me, so I cannot take credit for it. But uh, sadly, few seem to really understand the mission of the church. Persecution shall bring revival to the remnant church and separate the wheat from the tares or the weeds. Jesus promised us we would be hated. Matthew 10, 22, Jesus speaking, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. What? We got to endure to the end? But what about eternal security and once saved, always saved? Uh, well, argue with Jesus. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. We are warned of tribulation or trouble in this world. Acts 14.22 confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. Paul warned us of persecution in 2 Timothy 3.12. Yea, and all, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. All right, so here's the part that somebody sent me, Michael, you know. And I quote, Everyone is always searching for the one sign or event that will trigger Christ's return, and yet completely ignore the one thing that is the determining factor of when Christ returns. It's not about what king or kingdom is doing that is the final event. It's what the church is like, what the church is doing. Jesus is returning for a bride that has made herself ready, a church triumphant. His return is not a rescue mission. It is a completion of the task he appointed the church to fulfill, and until she does, he will not return. He is coming for a bride that has made herself ready to be received by her husband. Her gown washed white in his blood without spot or wrinkle. The bride is still not ready. The great exploits of the church have not yet occurred because she is still too immature too busy acting childless, childish. Too busy acting childish. When she return, when she matures, when she matures, then we will see the signs and wonders take place that will bring about the greatest revival in human history. The latter reign is to be greater than the former reign, unquote. In Daniel chapter 11, let's read, oh, let's see, verse 31. An arm shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that maketh desolate and such as do wickedly against the covenant, shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. What are exploits? I don't know. Miracles? Verse 3, 33. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. Yet, they shall fall by the sword and by flame, by captivity and by spoil, many days. 
You know, look at Acts chapter 6, verse 8. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Wow. Acts 8, 6. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip, Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Acts 15, 12. Then all the multitude kept silence and gave audience to Barnabas and Paul, declaring what miracles and wonders God had wrought among the Gentiles by them. Acts 19.11, and God wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul. Uh, Paul haters will tell you that it was the devil that did the miracles by Paul. Yeah, essentially calling God the devil. If yes, ask me. In Joel chapter 2, verse 27, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit and i will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth blood and fire and pillars of smoke people until the lord's spirit is poured out upon his people there is no returning of the lord not gonna happen Verse 31, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord hath said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, amen.